Hey guys, I'm Joe, and I'll be showing you how to use the Drama feature in Logic Pro X today. To open up Drama, you can either create a new file and select Drama from the options window that opens up, or go to create a new track and select Drama from this window. As I've already got a Drama track set up, I can just cancel this. Drama is a great feature in Logic, which helps you create drum beats with ease and creativity. You can select what genre or style of drums you want from this window here. So if you select electronic, then it will play MIDI sounds, or if you select rock or alternative, then it will play sounds from a live kit. This is completely your choice and preference and depends on what genre you're composing in. For now, I'll select the electronic drummer Magnus as he's a favorite of mine. So now we have a drummer in, I'll show you what it does and how to change it to play what you want. Firstly, I'll just show you what's loaded in when you select this drummer. So you see that it simply creates a drum line for you in the tempo that you've chosen. The beat will stay the same if you change the tempo however, so it'll always fit your track. So here in the main window for drummer, you can choose how complex and simple you and how loud and soft you want your line to be by moving this cursor around. The further it is to the right, the more complex it is. The further to the left, sim more simple it is. The higher to the top, the louder it is. The further to the bottom, the softer it is. So you get, get a good combination of the two. So I had it loud and simple over here, or loud and complex over here. Next to that, on the right, you can choose the basic sounds that you want in your drum line and how often you want them to be used by changing these numbers underneath. So one will be, be used minimum amount, all the way up to 80 where I'll be used an awful lot. And then above that, you have the follow option, which brings down a drop menu that will create a kick, snare, and clap pattern around something you've already written. So if you've created a bass pattern, you can use Drummer to create a pattern for you to follow and match that. Next to that, on your right, you have the fill and swing uh, buttons. Fills determine how many and what kind of fills you want in drum line, or if you don't want any at all. The circle's empty, there'll be no fills at all. If it's halfway full, there'll be a fill every four bars, and if it's all the way full, it'll be a fill, fill every two bars. Different points at the circle determine what the fill sound like, so it's best to experiment to find out what sounds good and what fits. Now down here at the bottom left of the drummer track, you can open up your mix to show you all the individual sounds. You can see that next to each sound is a note, and that is a note that plays a drum sound. If you right click on the sounds that are being used, or the ones that you want to use, you can create a track for them in the project. Doing this means you can change the level of it, so you can increase and decrease the volume to your liking, or even change the sound completely from your library. It also means that you can very easily add in single hits or fills into your drumline, so you can see what notes play, what sounds, then program them in separately. So as you can see here, I've created the kick track, and the, the note plays it's a C1, so you can program in C1 to do extra fills and hits if you so, if you so wish. Uh, I intend on doing a full series for drummer as there's an awful lot to go into and I've found it to be very useful and practical and has become an essential tool when writing tracks for myself. I hope this video has been useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or write to me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.